Everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxana and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing another album and it's going to be Britney Spears' third album, Britney. So let's go ahead and listen and hopefully Spotify wants to work today and work right. Because I don't have all the songs on my um, iTunes and I don't want to try to find the CD again. But if I want to need to, I want to need to. So anyway, the first song is I'm a Slave for You. Let's listen. All right, that was an amazing, amazing, amazing song. It's honestly a A plus song. It's so freaking good. The lyrics are so good. I love the beat, the breakdown. The freaking breakdown is so freaking good. I absolutely love everything about it. And I have nothing bad to say about that song. The way she does everything in that song is epically amazing and I freaking love it and we'll move on to overprotected right now and I'll be doing a remix um, to overprotected and boys in a later video I'm not 
such a good song, another A plus song. I really, really like it. The albums are good. The beat is amazing. And I like the message. It's like, I'm tired of being overprotective. Just let me figure it out. Because, like, it's one of those, um, she's in that age where she's trying to just figure out herself and she doesn't want people to tell her what to do because she was about 19, I think, when she released this, I think. So, um, I definitely understand it. So, um, I have nothing bad to say about the song. Again, it's really good. I like the alibs, the beat. I think I already said those. So let's jump into Lonely. Again, another really good song, another A+. There's so much about the song that I really like. I like how, like, around the two-minute mark, um, when she's going into her, I guess, the bridge of the song, I guess, that's, yeah, because it, it, there's a lot of switch-ups happening in the song. But I like how, like, around the two-minute, 12 mark, there's, like, a bit of, like, a drummer's beat, on like a battle beat almost, and then it cuts it. It goes into the breakdown where she has like a mini little rap in there, which I really like as well. I really like the song a lot. So um, we're going to jump into the next song, which is I'm Not a Girl, Not Yet a Woman. Let's listen. Oh, I 
Uh, that was a pretty decent song. I'll probably give it a B. No B. Just because I don't like ballads that much, but I could actually stomach this and actually listen to it all the way through. Uh, some ballads I can't, I can only listen maybe like maybe 20 seconds and I gotta shut it off. It's very rare for me to like ballads anyway, so um, I do like her high notes towards the end of the song. Those were really good and those were really good notes actually. Um, but I just couldn't really relate to the song that much, but that's just me. So um, we're going to jump into the next song. Which will be boys. For whatever reason, I'm so glad we're at the same place at the same time. It's over now. I'm glad that you can make a bed on you. Tell your boys you'll be back. I wanna see what you can do. Little nasty world. Sometimes a girl just needs one. Um, that was a, that was an okay song. I'll probably give it a C. I didn't really like it that much. Um, but that's just me. Um, I would have, I don't know. I just didn't like the song that much. The remix is slightly better than that, but, um, I just, I just couldn't get into the song. Um, I, I that's about it. <laughs> uh, we're going to go into the next song in a minute after all these damn ads stop playing but um what else can I talk about um I guess um I'll say this is the first album that I actually probably bought well my mother bought for me I was like on a 13 something like that something like that when um, I got this album um always and I didn't know who she was because I didn't listen to any at the rate, I didn't listen to radio music until like um, until like 2001, because I always would listen to the oldest station. So, um, so yeah, that's why I barely listen to any of the early 2000s music. So that's why I'm going back through them because it's been a while since I've heard it. And uh, this is what I grew up listening to, basically, besides all the oldies, oldies, oldies. So I'm talking about, like, 70s and 60s. And that's what I said. So we listen listening to anticip Anticipating now. Another kind of uh, song, I'll probably give this a D. I didn't really like it. 
Um, but I will tell you this. Um, there were some remixes that went out for this song. I did love those to death. I don't see I can find them. And then I'll probably do a separate video for it because those were the shit. They were so freaking good. Uh, so the last three songs didn't really do it for me. I didn't really like them that much. It just wasn't... I just didn't like it at all, to be quite honest. I don't like I don't like the 70s. I know when I say I was listening to uh, 60s and 70s, I meant to say 50s and 60s. Anything like I did not like this. I don't like 70s or 80s music. I'm sorry. I just, unless, unless it's a really really good song, there's maybe a few exceptions in there, but exception, yeah. But otherwise, no. So <clears throat> the next song we listen to is "I Love Rock and Roll." This song I did like. Another really, really good song. I really like it. It's an A-plus song. And I just love the guitar in there. It's so freaking good. And her albums at the end are great. And I can just picture the video in my head. And along with the live performances she's done with the song. Oh, my God. Anyway, really good song. I really did like it. And the next song we'll be listening to is Cinderella. And it's all it's really one of my all-time favorites. I love this song so much. So let's... Listen. Love this part. Thank you. 
Just a freaking good song. I love the song to death. The beat is so freaking good. I love the violin. I love, it's not piano, but it's like a grade below it. It's like an old timey type piano. I forgot what it's called. Someone correct me in the comment section down below. But I just love the old school feel of it because it's like, um, they're trying to make it like a modern Cinderella, basically, um, but they're throwing in a bunch of old beats, but modernizing it to make it more adaptable for 2001 when it was released. And I love, like, the, I like the message behind it because it's, like, saying, basically, like, you only tell me to do stuff. You don't really talk to me when I try to see my mind. You don't listen. And so I'm running away, and let's just be honest here. It's not working. So I'm running away. So I do like that a lot, and just, I just love everything about it. The breakdown. The freaking albums at the end. Everything about the song was so good. It should have been a single. I wasn't a single. Anyway, uh, well, so let's listen to the next song, which will be Let Me Be. Uh, that's a very different song from everything I think I've heard from her, and it's kind of, it's not really this type of sound on her album, this is the only type of sound for this, so it's kind of like a standout-ish. I'll give it a B. I bet like Cinderella's also A+++++. I forgot to say that, sorry. <laughs> um, but let me be, it was a, it was a B because it was so different, but I kind of liked it. Um, the only thing I'll probably say about it is it was a little too short. It's only like 2 minutes and 50 seconds or something like that. So I feel like you could have probably done like, even like a, done like a bridge or something for that and added something else in there. But other than that, it was a, it was a good song. The albums were good. I didn't sweat some of those high notes. So that was really good. And that, like I said, I have not heard this album in forever. Aside from a few songs that I really, really like. And speaking of that, uh, the next song we'll be doing is Bombastic Love, which I did freaking love. So let's listen. And I'll say this will be an A plus plus right off the bat. I'm going to tell you right now. Thank you. 
I'll just put that on. Another really, really, really good song. It should have been a single. Why weren't you a single? It was so freaking good. The beat, the alibs, just the breakdown, everything about it is just so good. I could actually envision the music video in my head. But um, I'm not going to go into details. Well, the next song is going to be That's Where You Take Me. So let's listen to that. I don't think I've heard this song, to be quite honest. I do like it. Um, that was a pretty good song. Um, I'll pr I'll give it a B. The only thing I didn't really like was the la 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 part around the two twenty two minute twenty second mark. I could have done without that. That just sounded so weird. I did not like that at all. But everything else about the song is pretty good. I like it's a fun song to listen to. So um, the next song is called When I Found You. I don't think I've heard this either. Um, I also want to read this totally different to offer the high note. Uh, I also want to give this a probably a C or a D, but the 
that high note and the thing about that, the last like minute, minute, 15 seconds, bumped all the way up to a B. Whoa, those notes were so freaking good. Um, I did not expect that. Um, the only thing I didn't like was be that error part. I'm not going to try to do that again, but that's the part I didn't like. And then it felt like it got a little messy in the course. So there was like too much going on because it simplified that a little bit more and took out a couple of beats that were not really that necessary. But other than that, it was a it was a good song. So, um, but it's high notes, so that's what saves that rating. Um, so the next song, it's a really good song. It's a bonus track. I think we're in the bonus track territory now. So, um, it's called I Run Away. If this should have been on the main album, it should have been a single. I'm just saying. Listen for yourself. Just the violin. Oh my god. Love this beat already. Uh, my favorite breakdown is coming up. Perfection. The song is perfect. It is awesome. I love everything about it. Everything about it is spectacular. It is so freaking good. The her inflection, like yeah, she feels super sad about the song. She, I thought she put her all into the song and should have been on the main album and it should have been a single. <sighs> Sorry. But everything about this is so good. The violin, the beats, the high notes she hit. That kind of gets chopped up and gets, um, it's number 25. It's on the upper, it's on the lower side. But it's got 118 plays. And this is literally out of 4,740 songs. And it's from 2001. And I still love the crap out of it. It's so freaking good. And uh, the next song we listen to is What It's Like To Be Me. So let's listen. Don't you wanna be my man? My 
Um, so that was a pretty good song. I really liked it. Um, just kidding. <laughs> I really didn't like the song I'll, I'll, that much. I really didn't, to be quite honest. I I don't know what it is about the song. I just could not like it. I tried to like it. You know how you try to force yourself to like it because this is like your... Um, I'll give this a C minus borderline D just because I just don't like it. I just, just couldn't hang with it. Um, the next song is, I don't know what it is with the song. I don't like Cowbell. I don't like it. The only thing I could probably like is a breakdown. That's probably it's only Saving Grace. The last song is called Before the Goodbye. And again, it should have been on the album. It should have been single. And this is the last song. And it's perfect. I love the guitar in here. Brilliant song, so good. I, I have this. So good. I just can't talk right because it's so freaking good. I love this song so freaking much. I love how like it starts with the guitar, then it builds up, and then it drops into like a big beat, and it's just so freaking good. And then it slows back down into the chorus, um, into the verses, and it speeds back up into the chorus. And then the breakdown happens, which is just on its own, just epically amazing. And then you slow it back down. Well, you have a little dance break, and then you slow it back down to the, how it begins with the, just a simple guitar, and that's how it fades out. So good, and I cannot believe this was not a single or even on the main album. Ugh, they should have just, this is what they should have done, and that's all, this is also A++. Plus, it's it's number four on my top played songs. I think it's at like um, what is it? It's number five at one seventy two. Yeah, it's my second highest Britney song. The highest is almost like for you. But um, anyway, this song is so freaking good. I cannot. Oh my god, just everything about it is so good. Okay, um, so this album overall, including bonus tracks, is a B album. 
It's really good. I liked the majority of it. There was a few songs that were just like, uh-uh. No. But what they should have done, the label should have done, because they already did like six videos, they should have just done the other seven and just did an anthology and did like, I know they pulled like a Beyonce and just do a video for every freaking song on the album, including the bench tracks. That would have been perfect for 2001 era music. But they did it. So, um, but overall, the songs were so good. I really, really, really liked it. It was fun going back through all these songs because a couple I have not heard before. So, it's like review slash reaction again. Um, so, all the songs are so good. Except for a oh, good about four or five. Could have done without. You should have put the bonus tracks in, in place of those, in my opinion. And it would have been like the perfect album ever. And so, um, that's one do it for me. I hope y'all have enjoyed this. The next album will be Blackout, because it's already done in the zone. So I'll have a link in the just in the description, or I'll put it on the um, end card, and y'all can check those out. And I'll have a I'll have a whole playlist of um, album um, review slash reactions, and I'll just, it'll be in there. So um, the next one will be definitely will be back blackout, and I'm very excited to listen to that again because it's been a minute since I listened to that, aside from the main singles or the songs that I just listen to all the time. So that's going to do it for me. So like, comment, and comment down below on which your favorite Britney song is from this album. And just let me know what you think down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Um, my setup, again, it's not the best, but I'm working on it. I do have another mic I want to try out, so I'll try it out for the next. Um, for the like album, I'll do, a, I'll do a test first to see if it works right. If it doesn't, okay, it's fine. <laughs> And so, um, so yeah, and subscribe for more awesomeness from me, and I'll see y'all in my next video. And I just want to say thank y'all for watching the Baby One More Time video. It's kind of like, I think, 50 views as of this recording. So thank y'all for watching. Bye, everybody.